So I just thought I'd do a quick little walkthrough of my carnivorous plant collection because it's a nice rainy morning and the plants are loving the humidity. So we'll just go through and sort of look at any new growth, which is interesting. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is look at the size of this new leaf on my Nepenthes roca. And this is actually a basil off the main plant. Um, the main vine's pretty thin, as you can see. It goes up around the top, curves, and comes back down. That's a nice picture on it. And this basil's come right out from the bottom, or, and it's gone around the trellis. It's come around the side there. But just look at the size of this leaf. It's incredible. And right below it, there's a new picture swelling up on my Struncata squat cross nebularum. And I can tell this is going to be a large one because it's almost doubled in size in the last few days, which is pretty nice. Um, there's a new picture on my Roco Exotica cross Boschiana cross Truncata. But this one is quite a bit smaller because the plants just put out a, a massive flower. Um, there's lots of new growth on my Nepenthes Copperlandii. It's put out a couple new pictures recently, and I've just spotted behind it. The new picture is opened on my Vici Icos Berbicie. I think that's going to be the thumbnail photo. Um, yeah, so this plant is actually the one in my profile picture. It's got a nice picture around the back, but you can see they do turn a bit pale as they age. Um, you can see that nice pink coloration on the new ones. Um, yeah, as I was saying before, this Copperlandii has put out so many new pictures recently. It's incredible. It's just transitioning into upper pictures, which is pretty nice. Oh, yeah, and this is something funny I wanted to show you. My Maxima Crostrus Martiensis I got recently. Um, it's It was just sitting there for a week while I was at Foster, and the pictures are just filled up with so much rainwater that the leaves had actually broken. And that's why <laughs> and that's why I've had to tie it up with this little bit of wire here. But yeah, I just found it funny that the plant couldn't handle its own pictures. And that's actually the same with this Truncata cross ventricosa. It's a bit hard to see. Um, I'll go into the macro camera so it focuses. But you can see there, there's actually some bend marks on the leaves. And that's basically on every leaf with a picture. You can see in there. And, okay, so I'll just see if there's anything else. Nice basil on my Gothica. I'll go back into the normal camera. Um, oh, yeah, my Hookeriana is actually doing a little bit better. It's got some new leaves that aren't totally dying off. Um, this is my section for plants that aren't really doing well. All cuttings. This one's actually put out some roots. Um, plants in the tree are doing well. Got a new picture coming on my Miranda, which is nice. Uh, down on the ground, my Gothica is thriving. It's got very large pictures on it. Uh, I'll try to find a good one. There's one over here. I think this is newer. Oh, no, it's not. It's actually starting to die off, but you can see how nice it is still. New picture on my Thrillia. It's not much at the moment, but this plant used to be a massive vine, but I cut it back down because all the leaves died off and it was only the tiny growth point at the top. Um, we'll just go through the plants in the tree. Not much else to show you, except for this new picture on my Ventricosa cross Loei Gothica. Um... Oh yeah, something funny happened with this um, alata. It's a funny story. So basically I was taking this plant down to show someone and I actually ripped off the new picture. And as you can see, I've actually tried to tape it back on because I've seen that sometimes when you break a leaf or something and you act qu quick and like make contact between those two points, it can sometimes regrow, but I'm not quite sure about that. Uh, some last new picture updates. There's one on my Maxima, some on my Ventricosa. Sorry for the plane overhead. One coming on my Maxima, a very nice one on my Roca. And just reminded me that I really need to water my Truncata cross Edwardsiana. So that's the last update for the video. I'll just get my watering can because I don't want that plant to die. Um, I hope you enjoy these sort of carefree videos where it's just me rambling on and on. Okay, that 
that should be enough water. Oh, I only have one hand, so it's gonna be a bit more difficult than in the GoPro videos. Probably should take that rose off, but we'll see if I can carry it with one hand. Yeah, I've been holding off the water of this plant for a while because it was getting some oedema, but it's time to give it a nice, refreshing dose of H2O. Okay, so that's... <coughs> oh, not sure what that coughing was about, but I guess that's the video for today. Um, I probably won't be posting that often from next Monday because school's starting up again, so... I guess I'll see you in the next one.